Hey everybody, it's Michael Rosso here in the Film Photography Project studio here today to talk about, well, how to load a 35mm cartridge of film into your favorite 35mm camera. Today we're using the Pentax K1000, a classic camera. This is a workhorse. This is a staple camera. This is one of the cameras to get if you're new to film photography. But let's say you have a Canon AE-1 or a Nikon FM or maybe a Minolta X7, whatever you have that's a manual focus or even an auto focus camera, most are all the same. So in order to load your film, you first need to open the back of your camera. Uh, most cameras, there's either a switch on the side or the, re the rewind button here. This actually rewinds your film back into your camera. Lift that up. I just popped open the back. I'll do it again. I lift that up. Popped open the back. I mean, consult your camera manual if you're unsure of how to open your camera. So I'm going to lay the camera on the table. Now I have a tip on how to help this process, and that is if you have your roll of film, and that is to make sure your roll is kind of tight. What I mean by that is that when you first get your roll of film, make sure you, you, you turn it so that you holding it and you're holding it so because sometimes inside the canister the film gets loose you want to make sure it's tight around the canister inside there we go good film always gets loaded usually with this part down so and this part up because the prongs from the rewind are going to go inside to grab your film for example here we go put it in nice and now the lever on top you will push down and that will grab your film Look at that. lever. When you push it down, it doesn't grab. You just turn it a little bit, nice and gentle, till it catches. Watch. Oop. Done. Here we're inside the camera. We're going to drag the film. Drag. <laughs> Over here. And most cameras have uh, the built-in spool where you will capture your film. Basically, you put the film end into the slot. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Did I mention that John Fidelli is behind the camera? No, you didn't. Hi, John. Hey, Mike. How you doing? John and I and Matt Mirage host the, fi host the Film Photography Podcast on uh, iTunes, Internet Radio, in case you want to you know, tune in and listen to us ramble about film. Anyhow, so now that the film is in the slot, you uh, cock the shutter, and as you're doing it, you're kind of just going to make sure it gets gu guided in. And I did it wrong. As you can see... The film did not grab. No problem. Relax. No sweat. Just try again. And once you get the use, used to doing this, you'll be able to do this in the dark, practically. You'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Here we go. It, the film caught this time. And now it's nice. You can see it's, it's caught very nicely. And you slowly close the back door. And then you advance the film. Now, a, a, a quick tip on how do you know that your film is properly uh, advancing advancing in your camera? How do you know that you just, you know, that it didn't fall off the spool? Well, that's why I did a little film tightening technique because when you advance film, watch this. Watch this button here. <gasps> Look at that. That means the film is properly advancing. Hmm. Yeah. So now you're ready to shoot. Now, one last tip before I go is in order to get your film back into the canister to bring to the photo processor, you need to wind the film back into the canister when you're done shooting. Now, do not forget that on the bottom of your camera is a little button right there. Almost every camera has one. You press that, and that releases your film so you can now rewind the film back in the canister. And that's pretty much how you load and would unload a 35 millimeter cartridge in your camera. If you'd like to uh, send me an email, you could do so by sending it at podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. And of course, our main site, filmphotographyproject.com. Now, at, the, at this site, you will see our blogs, you will see a podcast tab for our internet radio show, and you will see our store tab to visit our film photography store. Hope to hear from you soon. 
and I will see you very soon. And as always, have a great time shooting film.